Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problems as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In this practice problem, we're trying to figure out the type of bond we're dealing with based on electronegativity values. Electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract electrons. Now, when you have two atoms participating in a bond, they are sharing electrons, right, to some degree or another. So for instance, if we're dealing with NaCl over here, chlorine is a very electronegative atom. So it's going to hold on to the electrons in the bond more tightly than the sodium ion is, right? And that's why we, we think of these as being an ionic bond because chlorine will basically have a negative charge and sodium will have essentially a positive charge due to the n equal sharing of these electrons, right? Whereas with carbon and hydrogen, their electronegativities are very similar and therefore they're almost going to, we consider them to share the electrons equally even though carbon is slightly more electronegative than hydrogen, okay? And using the electronegativity differences between uh, atoms, we can determine if we can determine how and equally those electrons are being shared. For instance, if atoms have an electronegativity difference of less than 0.4, we consider them to be nonpolar covalent bonds. That basically means that the electrons are being equally shared in a way that there's no pole. So we don't consider a, we don't consider there to be partial negative or partial positive charges here, right? We don't think about that for nonpolar covalent bonds. Whereas for polar covalent bonds that have a slightly higher negativity, electronegativity difference, for instance here, the electronegativity difference is one between carbon and oxygen. In this case, we'd think about there being a partial negative charge on the oxygen, a partial positive charge on the carbon, right? And then once you get above an electronegativity difference of 1.8, we consider those to be an ionic bond. And if you recall correctly, in this practice problem, we're asked about carbon and hydrogen, which have an electronegativity difference of 0.4. Therefore, we consider them on this side of the spectrum, considering them to be nonpolar covalent bonds. So taking a second look at the answer choices, we know that the correct answer here is A, nonpolar covalent. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.